I recently spoke at an event in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, hosted by the outstanding Pennsylvania Family Institute, which is run by Michael Gear and Tom Shaheen, two men unafraid to fight the good fight in the culture war, from the defense of marriage between a man and a woman, imagine that, to the right to life for unborn human beings. And speaking of the unborn, preceding me at the platform was a remarkable young man named Ryan Bomberger. Ryan stood in front of a captivated audience and related how he had been conceived by a mother who had been a rape victim nearly 30 years ago. The mother heroically chose to give life to the fertilized embryo in her womb, which, in turn, she gave up for adoption. Ryan was raised by an incredible couple who nurtured 14 children under one roof, boys and girls of all ages, personalities, and races. The race issue is perhaps the most gripping aspect of Ryan's story. Ryan's biological father was black, his biological mother, white. Today, Ryan's mission is to alert the world to the unparalleled evil that abortion has wreaked upon the black community in particular, an evil that his mother spared him from. Ryan's group is called the Radiance Foundation. The website is theradiancefoundation.org. There, Ryan has a hard-hitting video, carefully sourced, documenting how every year more black Americans are killed by abortion than by all other causes combined. Specifically, each year, 289,000 black Americans die from accidents, HIV, homicide, cancer, kidney, respiratory, and heart disease. But that's nothing compared to what Planned Parenthood has done to the black community. Each year, 363,000 black Americans die from abortion, more than all other causes combined. If everyone in America paused to watch just this one one one-minute video by Ryan's Radiance Foundation, we could change the death culture in this country. Ryan Bomberger is certainly doing his part, and he doesn't hesitate to show that this brutal slaughter of unborn black babies is a natural extension of the vicious racial eugenics vision and Negro project of Planned Parenthood founder Margaret Sanger, a hero to progressives and liberals. In what now seems like a cruel joke, Planned Parenthood gave its first annual Margaret Sanger Award to none other than Martin Luther King Jr. More recent recipients of the Sanger Award include Phil Donahue, Justice Harry Blackman, Jane Fonda, Ted Turner, and Hillary Clinton. When Mrs. Clinton received her Sanger Award in 2009, she beamed, she glowed, saying she was in awe of the late racial eugenicist. Today, Ryan Bomberger is joined in his pro-life ministry by his wife, Bethany, with whom they have given the gift of life to four beautiful children, also of mixed races. Bethany invokes Ephesians, have nothing to do with the fruitless seeds of darkness, but expose them. And that's precisely what Ryan and Bethany are doing with their videos and ministry at the Radiance Foundation, where their light shines. We need more Ryan Bombergers. Be not afraid, Ryan. And to the mother who made such a difficult choice and gave Ryan life, you, my dear, have made a profound difference, whether you know it or not. For Moody Radio, I'm Paul Kengor, and that's my view.